Time now for six questions, this time with Evan Manning of the KU men's basketball team. Um, all right, so you have no classes left, right? None whatsoever, just an internship. Just an internship, I mean, so this is like, this is awesome. I mean, you're looking at those suckers walking to class every day and you're just laughing. Kinda, unfortunately I have to get up a little earlier than some of them, stay a little longer, but. Dress up good. and everything right. a little bit more. Grown up stuff. It's called the real world, yeah, okay, Evan? It's coming right, it's coming <laughs> right at you. Uh, and part of the real world is having to answer six questions. So here we go. Question number one with Evan, uh, Broncos or Panthers? Gotta go with uh, Cam and the Panthers. Do you? Why is that? I think Peyton's a little too old. Yeah. You know, he might, be. might be his last rodeo, so he said. Cam's been unstoppable. Um, are you a Chiefs fan at all? I cheer for the Chiefs. Like I don't really have a favorite NFL team, but I'm always okay. cheering for. But you don't like cheer for the Chiefs so much that you hate the Broncos. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. All right. We'll allow that, I guess. I guess that was close, though. Uh, question number two. Uh, you tweeted out, "If I win Powerball, sorry, Bill Self, I won't be at practice tomorrow." End quote. Would you really have skipped? I mean, it was a billion dollars. So <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe. Would you even finished your internship and even graduated? I might have came back here in a little couple years, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Just, I don't know. Just I don't think I would have been around. <laughs> I mean, why? I don't right? think anyone would have been. No, that was a big time Powerball. Would you have given like a million dollars to everybody on the team? Oh yeah, easily, right? You could probably give like twenty mil to everybody, and you wouldn't feel it. Be nothing. What about everybody else? What about me media? Would they have gotten anything? I don't know. Probably not. Like we'll see how the questions go. Like that. <laughs> we'll see how the questions go. Okay, I'm gonna make a change here. But you didn't win, so I can. I, I, I guess I can keep at it. Oh, that's incorrect. No, you should have given money to everybody. All right, uh, question number three. Your dad's staff has him, Steve Woodbury, and Randolph Childress. Uh, with Brett Ballard coming off the bench in a three-on-three -three game, if they had a three-on-three -three coaches final four bracket, basically, would they win it all? Are they the favorites? Uh, I think so. I mean, they got some height. They got some skill. B. Bal coming off the bench, he's a, he's a shooter. <laughs> He'd be all right, so they, they do all right. Uh, well, yeah, because I mean, he's probably, the, I guess, the youngest of the three, but Randolph's not that old. You, I mean, your dad, see what are older dudes, but I mean, they got height and they you know, still can play, probably. I, I would think. I mean, the game plan for the other team should be go with my dad. Really? He's a little slow. You a little think slow, that's it? You know, I would attack him. Okay, interesting. It's the opposite of why. How would, how would this staff, okay, fare against your dad's staff in a game of three uh, on three? There's a bunch of shooters on this. <laughs> Just, they're not moving, right? Yeah. They're not getting inside the lane. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> staying Who would it be besides Bill? We have Norm out there. Coach Howard thinks he can play. Uh, yeah, okay. What about uh, Coach, Coach Q? Coach Rob, Coach Rob, he's good. He's yeah. pretty good. Coach Q, he's one of the best. What, what's Curtis shape. doing these days? What, what can uh, he do with the basketball? I don't know. He doesn't do much with it. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Bill might be up in the air on, on who would play. All right, uh, that was question number three. Question number four, uh, how much trash can you get away with talking from the bench during a game? Pretty good amount. Yeah. You know, it's fun. I mean, just like if there's a corner three, that's always oh, yeah. our time. We're right in there. That is your time, huh? Yeah. What are you saying? Uh, just like if it's someone who's not always making a shot, you can just say like, oh, we're living with that shot. We'll be all right if you keep shooting and <laughs> stuff like that. And then sometimes they'll like inbound right in front of you as well, especially out in field house, yeah, there's no room. Tug on the shore, right there. Something just like right nowhere there. right there. Absolutely. So, you know. And you gotta make sure, I guess the refs don't hear it or they can hear some. I mean, I'm sure there's a science to it. Uh, it's definitely, it's a definite art. I mean, I'm the best at it. Tyler, Tyler's not any good. He's no good at it, huh? No, Clay's second best, probably. So give me an example, because I asked Tyler if uh, they would, you guys would ever do the Monmouth stuff on the bench. <laughs> he said, heck no. Yeah. He said he just his celebrations are in the moment. They're not choreographed. What's your approach to that? Um, same way. Same you way. Know, yeah. It's kind of expect to make all those shots. That's how we see it, you know? And mm -hmm. We're just having fun in the moment. Yeah, in the moment, tugging on shorts, all that stuff. I like it. Uh, question number five, if you could trade winning the Big 12 this year, not do that, for a run to the Final Four, would you do it? I mean, you always want to win the Big 12, but you always want to go as far as you can in the tournament. Mm -hmm. It's a tough question. Uh, if we could have some success, if we could win our last game in April, that would be Awesome. I was going to say, I imagine national championship, you'd trade, heck, you get last in the Big 12, <laughs> right? right? I don't know. I don't know if Coach sees it that way always, because no. he always wants to right. you know, he pride it on that. But uh, you want one championship, that's, right? That would be ideal. It's a tough question. These it are is. six that's, questions, that's Evan. Okay. Question. You know, <laughs> senior year here. Okay? About to go. Yeah. We're preparing you for life right here. Love to win one. Uh, question number six, uh, you need 23 more points for a combined 3,000 between you and your dad. Are you going to get there? Doubtful. 
I talked to Perry earlier. He said we, we're going to get you know we got to get get him into these games like a five minute mark here and just have you start gunning. Right. I mean, hey, if we're up by enough, I tell all the other guys to you know play really hard, try and get me in the game, try and just break that Absolutely. record. Absolutely. And when you're in there, I mean, at what point do you stop saying, oh, let's run offense and like do fundamental basketball stuff and just no, get it to me. I'm going to start gunning. <laughs> um, you know, usually it's just ebb and flow. You know, you can't really tell who's going to have the hot hand. And a lot of times, Tyler's found me. I made mean, some lucky shots, but. Cool. Yeah, lucky shots. You can hit that shot, but no, I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, down the stretch here, it's 23 points. I mean, if you, know. if you go nuts against I don't know, TCU, okay, right? Last five minutes, right? You chuck up seven threes, bam, you're right there. Right there. I mean, hey, some people have done it. I don't know if I could do it. I have to get really hot. You could go uh, tell. I mean, just let really the whole hot. team know. Okay, this is my time. Okay, <laughs> I'm the senior here. All right, I've been waiting. This is my time. I think you can do it. We'll be pulling for you. I'll let him know. Thank you. All right, Evan Manning, he's all grown up. All right, boy meets world. That is six questions.